Hey everyone, welcome back to another Feature Flurry. Today we're going to talk a little bit more about Streamlit and Snowflake. I'm Julian Ferrero and I lead product marketing for AI and machine learning here at Snowflake. And today I'm joined by Abby. Abby, why don't you introduce yourself? Uh, sure. Uh, I'm Abby. I'm a product manager for Streamlit and Snowflake. Thanks for joining us today, Abby. I think before we jump into what is Streamlit, why is it in Snowflake, Something that I want to ask you is, why is it so hard to go from data to insight? And why is the collaboration between data and business teams so hard today? So the business stakeholders want to be able to make decisions. And the data teams want to enable them to make these decisions by providing them insights. However, the data that enterprises collect today has grown exponentially. And getting to insights is, is like a two-part challenge. Well, I'm interested. Tell me more about these two challenges. So say you're a data analyst or a data scientist. Your typical workflow starts by starting and doing some exploration. That exploration turns into some kind of a prototype app. From the prototype app, you might start building more of a web app. Uh, let's say you start adding some HTML, some JavaScript, and before you know, you need to work with a tools team to make this into a more full-fledged app. You might decide to add some React and make this with some nice layouts. So the next part is the deployment challenge. Once the app is ready, you probably want to deploy this and you need some compute and storage infrastructure. You also probably want to go talk to the IT team to provision some ports and networking for you. On top of that, you might need some access control and you want to be able to share it with other people. And finally, when the app is ready, it's taken around two months from start to finish to get this. Yeah, so then what I'm hearing is you're a data scientist, you're really good with Python, but then you have to learn all these other languages and figure out how to build apps on top of your day job. How does Streamlit solve this first part? So Streamlit is an open source library that turns Python scripts into web apps in minutes. No front-end coding is required, and the apps are written in pure Python itself, uh, which is the preferred language for data teams today. Yeah, totally agree. In data teams, there's a lot more analysts and data scientists using Python. So we solve that first part, which is the development. What about the deployment? How is bringing Streamlit and Snowflake helping close the loop on this currently month long cycle to make that a lot faster? So Streamlit and Snowflake lets users deploy their apps with just one click. Everything is managed by Snowflake and this includes the compute and the storage. It includes the role-based access control, sharing, and this is a fully managed experience which lets the app builder focus on the job that they want to get done. Yeah, I think it's really cool because Zanz is really iterative to really go from build to deploy and maybe do that multiple times. I think in general, right, getting insights is an iterative process. Is Streamlit and Snowflake a good way to be more iterative in your analysis? And, and if so, do you have an example? Have you seen that work before in the past? Sure. So I work as a product manager and often I like to collect data on how the product is doing. Uh, and often I'll go to our data team and ask them for some piece of data. Uh, normally they'll uh, take about a day to put their app together um, and then they'll just send me a URL so that I can look at the uh, data. Once I have the URL, I can ask them additional questions. Uh, maybe I wanna see some more detail or I wanna do a drill down. Um, and that's a very simple change for the data team. That change might take, uh, you know, a couple of hours. I might ask the data team in the morning for something. And by afternoon, um, I would have an updated app in front of me. Finally, like I might share this app with other product managers or other business stakeholders. Um, and they might repeat the cycle. They might have some questions. The data team would just update the app. Uh, and the output for that is in front of them. They just have to click on the link and the app will be there. 
Yeah, no, thanks for sharing that example. And I think it's a really cool story how like you're the PM for a product that you use on a daily basis and sort of get to be a hands-on user uh, to provide your own feedback on that. Now, if you had to summarize sort of like, I'm completely new, I jump in, sign up into a Snowflake account, what does it actually mean for me to go from developing to the plumbing? What does that kind of process look like uh, when I'm a Streamlit user uh, running in Snowflake? So Streamlit and Snowflake lets users focus on the job that they need to get done. With the power of Streamlit and Python, they can leverage the open source ecosystem and build visualizations and front ends for their models and interactive apps. Making changes is also super easy. Uh, with the side-by-side -side editor, users can edit the code and see the app update in real time. And finally, all of this is running on Snowflake's infrastructure. And that comes with the security, the scalability, and the governance that Snowflake offers. Yeah, I know that's awesome. So I think that closes the full circle of what you talked about, development, deployment, and then it sort of adds this flavor of iterative work uh, in between to really accelerate the cycles. So let's say I'm sold, I wanna try Streamlit. Uh, where should I go to learn more? Yep, just simply go to snowflake.com slash streamlit and get started with building your first app. Will do. Thanks so much, Abby. Thank you. To catch the other feature flurries and other content for developers, uh, make sure to subscribe to the Snowflake Developers channel.